Good morning and welcome to chapel. Welcome to all the kiddos here in person in their classrooms and all the kiddos who are worshiping with us at home. And today we begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, you probably noticed that I have a group of special guests behind me. This is Mrs. Pettibone's class, and they are going to bless us with leading in worship our first song. And the first song is called Joy by For King and Country. So we welcome Mrs. Pettibone's class. Stand up if you want to join in. Lately I've been really watching the nightly news Don't seem to find the rhythm, just wanna sing the blues Feels like a song that never stops Feels like it's never gonna Gotta get that fire, fire back in my bones Thank you to Mrs. Pettibone's class. You can head back to your seats. I don't know about you, but I can't help but be in a good mood when I hear that song about joy. 
But let me take you back to that first lyric that um, the song had. And when I heard this, these words, it just reminded me so much of what's going on in our world today. And I'm going to read those words to you. And it says, lately I've been reading, watching the nightly news, don't seem to find the rhythm, just want to sing the blues. Feels like a song that never stops, feels like it's never going to stop. And when I heard those words, it reminded me of just everything going on right now and just how sometimes things of the world and our worries and our stresses, they just seem to bog us down. So I'm going to have a little demonstration for you today. I'm going to bring this table over here. Okay. All right. So we are this egg. And this is you and me and all of us. Okay, and this jar of water is the weights of the world. And sometimes there's just, if you think about all the things going on right now, if you focus on that negative part of stuff, there's the coronavirus, there's having to wear masks, there's having to keep distance from our friends, maybe you can't see people that you're used to seeing all the time, and maybe some people are grouchy or sad who aren't normally that way. So if you think of putting us in the weights of the world, what happens? Well, we sink. And if you look at this visual, here's us sitting at the bottom of all this stuff that just can weigh us down. Have you felt like that? Because I know that I have. Well, what can we do? Well, that's what our theme verse is for this school year we can focus on Jesus, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. All right. I've got my salt, and this salt represents kindness, okay? And we're going to sprinkle this kindness into the weights of the world, okay? So we're going to sprinkle kindness. Now, what does that mean, sprinkling kindness? It means saying and doing nice things. It means holding the door for somebody. It could mean something as simple as a smile. And we sprinkle in kindness. Okay? Still got the weights of the world. But now we've sprinkled in kindness. And now let's see what happens to us. So here we are again. Let's see what happens. You see the difference? This is Petty Bones class. Do you see the difference? That egg or us, well, this time we're floating. This time we're not bogged down by all the weights of the world. And that's because of kindness. That's because of us focusing on Jesus. And if you go to the next slide, this is the visual that came to me that the Holy Spirit gave, really. Um, I just pictured, like, Jesus is saying, I got you. No worries, I got you. And the kindness that we show and share not only lets us focus on Jesus, but obviously it works as a bridge to help others to focus on Jesus. Okay? So I want you to remember this visual. But you know what? A lot of times we say stuff, but how do we really do this? How do we put this into action? It's almost as if we, do we need like a kindness, like guidelines or something like that? I got it. The Charger Challenge. So if you go to the next slide. Okay. Oh, you know what? I got one more slide before that one. This is about, this goes back to that song, okay? The song talks about how I want to get that fire back in my bones I want to not turn my heart to stone. Somebody give me the megaphone. And basically, we're choosing joy. Okay? Choosing joy. And how do we do that? We're going to the Charger Challenge. So now if you go to the next slide. Okay? The Charger Challenge, this is our third year of doing the Charger Challenge. Okay? This is a leadership framework. It's a kindness framework that operates in our building. And if you're in your classrooms right now, please go ahead and just take one moment and find that poster in your classrooms because it should be hung up in every single classroom. And I just want you to take a moment, teachers point it out, make sure everybody has a visual on that charger challenge. Okay? 
All right, so let us remind ourselves of the points, the, the, the highlights, the pillars of this Charger Challenge. So I want you to put your hands up, Mrs. Pettibone's class, put your hands up, and we're gonna do that too. This is gonna remind us of the points of the Charger Challenge, okay? So we've got K, I, N, D, kind. K, I, N, D, kind. We're gonna go through each one of those, okay? So the K, we're gonna speak and act with kindness. That one's pretty simple. Okay, we know the things to do with that. Everything that we do, everything that we say should be kind. Okay, the next one is I, okay, accept and include others. I have something to tell you. Did you know that this school year we have 99 new students? We have 50 new kindergartners. We have 49 new students to our school this year. There is a huge opportunity for us to accept and include others and just scoop them right up into the Emmanuel family. So if you have some new friends in your classroom, I've already seen so many examples of this, please continue to intentionally include them so that they feel accepted and included. Okay? N, choose and be a positive influence. Everything that you say and do is an influence to others. It could be good or bad, but it's an influence. So let's choose to be a positive and good influence for others. And D, D is set goals, dream big, dream small. And I had kind of a hard time. I was thinking, how does that really have to do with kindness? But here's what it is. God has blessed each of us with unique gifts and talents. Okay, and he wants us to use those to bless others and then glorify him. So we need to set goals. We need to dream big so that we can use those gifts and talents and then use them to glorify him. So that's what that D has to do with. And then this last part, I kind of added this point this year because it says start your own chain reaction of kindness. But I want you to remember that visual, that picture of Jesus reaching down saying, I got you. And the bridge to us focusing on Jesus, ourselves and to others, is through kindness. Okay? So when you see that poster in your classrooms this year, when you see the Charger Challenge, when you think about it, you should have it in your brain, okay? I want you to think of just Jesus. He's got us no matter what. We just have to focus on him. Okay? All right. So, Mr. Newmeyer is up with prayers. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us in chapel today, and thank you, Mrs. Prisby, for our great message on reminding us not only about kindness, but our Charger Challenge, which is something that we uh, just want to make sure all of our kids know and do every single day. So if you could all please uh, join me in prayer, if you could fold your hands, bow your heads, and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on our church and school. We ask you to help all of us to follow the Charger Challenge, but more importantly, to focus on Jesus, and to always speak and act with kindness. Please help our kindness and generosity to be contagious and spread to our communities and all across the world. Help us to sprinkle kindness so that others may know you and may always give the glory and honor right back to you. We ask all this in your precious name as we come together saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. So now receive the benediction, which is our final blessing. And I'm going to have Mrs. Pettibone's class come on back up quietly. So this is from Romans 15, 5 through 6. And it says, may the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another in accordance with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ.
All right. So we have a final song for you. It's Build Your Kingdom Here by Rend Collective. And the reason why this song was chosen is, again, to remind us that kindness is what's going to be the bridge for us and to others, for us and them to focus on Jesus. We need to build his kingdom here. So let's get up and out of our seats. And Mrs. Pettibone's class, take it away. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. Your church, we need your power in us. We seek your kingdom first, we hunger and we thirst, refuse to waste our lives for your our joy and prize to see the captive hearts released, the hurt, the sick, the poor.
I got so wrapped up in this song. Thank you so much, Mrs. Pettibone's class. And God bless your day, and may you always focus on Jesus. Have a great day.